For many years, Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center was able to expand facilities using funding from the Federal Crime Act. But in 2021, the government ruled that nonprofits could no longer receive that money for buildings. As News 13's Jared Sellers tells us, that ruling left the CAC struggling to pay for two facilities here in Bay County. The Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center began in 2000 in Bay County and has expanded to Gulf, Calhoun, Jackson, Holmes, and Washington counties. They serve around 1,300 kids a year in the 14th Judicial Circuit, 70% from Bay County. CAC has two centers in Bay County, one bought in 2009, the other in 2019, for a total of around $2 million. They'd hoped to use funding from the Crime Act to pay the cost, but that money's now unavailable. So the CAC has begun a capital campaign to raise the money for the facilities. We not only have this facility here at 210 East 11th Street, but we also have a trauma therapy center at 303 Magnolia Avenue, and we want to pay those facilities off. We want to be debt free, and so we need about $1.2 million to do that. They've already received donations worth $350,000 from the St. Joe Foundation and the Charles Whitehead Foundation, but every dollar counts. We want to get the word out that even if you cannot write a check for $100,000, your $5 could be forever. If we take $5 and compound it to the almost 200,000 people that live in our viewing area and our community that benefit from the CAC's presence, then we can pay off these buildings. The facilities are crucial to the CAC's mission. Here in Florida, 38% of women and about 29% of men will be victims of domestic violence by a family member or a partner in their lifetime. Victim advocate Brittany Perello says she has seen a lot of growth with her patients. Getting to see um, a lot of kids who are here at the very beginning, um, sometimes going through one of the most difficult days of their life, um, and getting to see them even just the little wins as they go. Whether it's six months down the road, a year down the road, um, just getting to see them grow and blossom and heal, um, even within their families, is a really cool, really cool experience. In Panama City, Jared Sellers, News 13, Panhandle Strong. There, the CAC is in need of about $800,000 for everything that they uh, need to pay off. If you'd like to donate, you can go to mypanhandle.com for instructions and a link.